Hey, this is Tim Corey, and I want to create a quick video to introduce my new C Sharp application from start to finish course. In this course, I'm going to show you step by step how to take an application from its idea stage all the way through being built. A lot of you have requested this type of video, and you can't do everything you need in just one video. So I decided to do an experiment. I have built an entire course for you, and I give it away for free. Each week, I'll release a new lesson. You'll be able to follow along right along with me. By the time we're done, you'll see a number of valuable parts about building an application. And they'll all be in context of actually building an application. So let's talk about what we're going to build. And then we'll get into the areas that we're going to cover in this course. So the idea for this application is that our friend wants us to build a tournament tracker something that can be used to track a game tournament of some kind. For example, in America, we just finished the NCAA Basketball March Madness Tournament. In it, 64 teams play through six rounds of single elimination games to determine the champion. The brackets look like this. Now, if you're outside the U.S., you might be more familiar with the elimination portion of the World Cup. After the group stage, the remaining teams play single elimination games to determine the eventual winner. Our friend wants an application that can run these type of tournaments. So think office tournaments or recreational league tournaments. And that's what we're building. So now let's discuss the technologies that we're gonna end up using in this course. We arrive at the conclusion that a WinForm application is probably our best for now, but we also set everything up to be easily changed over to an ASP.NET MVC application, or a WPF application, or something else entirely. We don't want to commit to a single database solution either, so we end up building two different types of data storage, both Microsoft SQL Server as well as text file storage. Now, other technologies include our Dapper. We do a lot of link. We do a lot with interfaces, especially with our data storage, since we store in either SQL or text files. And the way I flip that over is easily done using interfaces. We don't actually ever talk directly to the code that writes the SQL or to the text files. Also, we do emailing from C Sharp. We have custom events and we even get into advanced debugging in this course. And the reason why is because everything is done on screen. And so sometimes you have bugs in your application. Well, we have bugs too and we're going to fix them on screen. So all told, it's over 25 hours of in-depth, real-world training. Now, honestly, giving away this much solid content for free isn't something most people would do, especially since creating it isn't free. However, I always want to give you more value than you ever pay for. My goal is to get individuals started, and that probably means you don't have a big company behind you paying the bills. But if you can afford it, then paying a bit would make a big difference in how many videos I can produce. Therefore, I've created a paid version of this course. Now, it's on imtimcorey.com. There's a link down below. Now, here's what I did. If you buy my course for $67, I will give you the following extras. First of all, you get all 27 video lessons right away. You don't have to wait for them like you do on YouTube. Every one of them is ad-free. On YouTube, you'll see little ads here and there for, hey, go ahead and you know buy this course, or hey, we've got this other thing going on. So there's little ads here and there, plus the YouTube ads. On my site, they're all ad-free. I'm also giving a bonus 28th lesson on text messaging. So we're gonna send texts from our application as well as send their emails. Now, that's not dependent on the application, meaning, you're not going to miss anything if you don't get that lesson. So if you do the YouTube route and just watch these for free, don't think like the application is incomplete. This is definitely a bonus lesson. Now I'm also giving away the source code for this project. If you watch on YouTube, you can see all the source code. And if you were to type along with me, you would have all the source code. But if you want to download the source code right away, you can go ahead and do that in the paid version. Also, I use Git which means that after every lesson where we modify the code, I checked that code in, which means that 
you can actually dial back in time and see my code as it stands at a certain lesson point. Also, I'm giving away all the database scripts. So the entire database for SQL that we created just for this application, you can rebuild that in your environment as well. I also wrote a 44 page course companion guide. Now that guide talks you through some of the things we're doing on video and kind of expounds in certain areas, kind of expands on it a little bit. And it also talks through in text some of those trickier bits. Plus, if you buy this course before April 15th, 2017, now I know some of you may be watching after that, and I apologize, you missed it. But if you buy this course before April 15th, 2017, I will send you my personal five-step cheat sheet on how to plan out a project. Now, if you missed it, again, I'm sorry, but if you jump on my mailing list, you'll get a heads up on all special offers, including some offers I only send out to my email list. So it might be something you wanna do. So that's the plan. Now to make sure you're staying informed of each video as it gets released, make sure to subscribe, but also hit that little bell icon. And when you do, make sure the checkbox is checked for send me all notifications. Otherwise, you might not get a notification that a new video has been posted. And we're gonna post one every single week. Now, let's address a couple of concerns that I'm sure will come up. First, yes, this course is entirely free on YouTube. You don't get the extras and you'll miss out on that one bonus lesson, but that's it. So the course will be entirely free. Second, if you wanna see a schedule of what's coming up, go to imtimcorey.com and look at this course. You will see all the lessons there. You can't actually view them, but you'll at least see the title of the lesson and you'll know what's coming up next. And third, yes, I'll still be releasing standalone videos on YouTube. In fact, I have a video coming up soon that you'll see as well. So some weeks, you're gonna get two videos, not just the one video. So I think that covers it. So let's jump right into lesson number one.